Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today, we are going to be trying all the festive holiday drinks from Wawa, Duncan, Duncan, Starbucks. and Starbucks. I'm so excited. Last year, our least favorite was Starbucks. Favorite was overall Wawa. was Wawa. Yeah. So, but Wawa has new drinks. Duncan has the same. Starbucks has like they have one new drink, but we're gonna see. We're, we're gonna, gonna see, see which one is our favorite compared to last year. And we're doing all ice. Like yeah, last year we did hot by and accident. ice. That's why this year we're just doing all ice. In the fall, we realized that we prefer for ice drink. I hope you guys enjoyed and let's go. Our first stop was Wawa. We got the... This is iced gingerbread latte, but I didn't even know it comes with a chai base, my favorite. I know, the guy confused us. He was like, this is the chai and this is the white chocolate. I said, wait, what? Because this is a frosted sugar cookie, so I'm assuming the white chocolate is frosted. Yeah, they look exactly the same, yeah. too. Because they're it's a latte, so it's milk and the coffee. Yeah, but the pictures look totally different. You gotta admit it. Yeah, all right, let's try a frosted white cookie. Oh, just tastes like white chocolate. Is that bad? Maybe we should not got a latte. Maybe we should just some regular coffee. Yeah, but I don't like just plain black coffee. It, it just tastes like white chocolate to me. It doesn't taste like cookie. Yeah, I don't taste anything but white chocolate. I, know what I don't really taste. I don't think it tastes like a sugar cookie. No, that's all right. I mean, it's good. It's really sweet. It's really like, sweet. If you like something sweet, it's a white chocolatey sweet. Yeah, but it just doesn't taste like a cookie. Like it doesn't give me like cookie flavor. Okay. Out, out of five, I give it a two. I just don't think it's holiday. No. It doesn't taste like a holiday drink. I mean, we just chugged half of it, but I also right. love their ice. Their ice and Chick Fil A's ice is my favorite. All right, so this is supposed to be gingerbread. So this is the no wait. This is the chai base. That was the latte base. It was. Yeah. That was you. You got a text. Okay. So so we got confused. Oh, that's nothing. So this was just a regular latte. The gingerbread is chai. Oh my god, we really were not paying attention. This tastes like gingerbread. Like when you bite into like the dry gingerbread house. Wait, really? I kind of take. I kind of taste the gingerbread. Oh yeah, this is good. I like this one better. Me too. Because also because so it's chai. This so. is chai. This also doesn't taste as milky as this. This tastes like it's just all milk. Yeah. Like it tastes like milk and the uh, white chocolate. White chocolate, but this actually tastes good. But I also feel like chai kind of has flavor on its own that reminds me of Christmas. And fall, yeah, like a Christmassy fall. But this one, I kind of taste like the, like a gingerbread. Yeah, it has the. It oh, has this like also has spice. caramel sauce in it too. I don't so really not read anything. <laughs> okay, we're not really paying attention here. But I, I like this one. This one. I don't taste caramel though. No. So would you would you rate it? the white chocolate one out of five. I give it a two. Out of five? Two and a half, three. Like, it's good, but it just doesn't taste like what it's supposed to be. That one, I would give it a four. I was gonna go with three and a half. But I also feel like last year, we got the milkshake. Yeah, we got the milkshake last year. We didn't check the milkshakes this year. No, they had versions of these that are frozen. I give this one a, a three and a half, that one a two. My hair yeah, was hair. on the cup. <laughs> There was a free avocado toast on the app at Duncan. For rewards, yeah. For the rewards members. Honestly, I love the Duncan app. This avocado toast looks kind of pretty. I've never had it before. I mean, it's literally just a piece of toast. It's it's four dollars, which is kind of expensive from Duncan, but we it, got it for free. But if it's free, it tastes better. I know this is not a seasonal thing. Shoot, That's fine. Seasonal it's, item, but okay. it was free today, so we got it. Ah, not bad. You get, can't you get it with an egg, I think? Bacon and tomatoes. I would want an egg. I love their eggs. <laughs> Me too. It's actually not bad. Like, they toasted bread. Is this sourdough? Yeah, it's like regular like grocery store guacamole. Like, pre made, yeah. Pre made. It's not bad. For free. I don't know if I would necessarily get it for four dollars, but no. not bad though. And they put the bagel seasoning on it. Does Ruby go have a nice over easy egg and the and the, the black peppercorn bacon? Yes, which they brought back. Yeah. This presentation for their drinks are ten times better. So this is the cookie butter cold brew, which has like cookie butter cold foam, the cookie bits, and it's a cold brew coffee. And this is because none of the places we're getting anything peppermint y, so this is their peppermint mocha signature latte. Wanna do this one first or the one. This is the cold foam. I think we should drink this first. There is cookie crumbs at the top. Co their donut that's that is so good. Yeah, we got it. What was that? A week or two ago? A week ago, yeah. Crunching on the cookie bits. It's cold brew coffee, so it's black. Uh, yeah, it's strong. It's strong coffee, but the foam and like the syrup helped so much. Maybe I should have added like almond milk to it, so it wasn't black. Yeah, but then I think it would have been like too much. Honestly, it's not bad, Mark. I had no, this, I, I had this before about almond milk, but I like it better without the milk in it. Really? Mm -hmm. I feel like it would be too much. Mm -hmm. So then it's just like a latte at that point. This is really good. I haven't had this since November, so like... Oh, a couple weeks. 
This is good. I, I like this a lot. I'm giving this a four out of five. Yeah, me too. Should we get a straw so you can mix up the syrup? That's the only thing. The open sip lid. When there's a syrup at the bottom, you can't really get it because how are you going to mix it? See, now it looks like a regular coffee because then you mix the foam in it. All right, so this is their peppermint mocha signature iced latte. Here you go. First sips. Oh, uh, we forgot to say no whipped cream. Oh, no. <laughs> also, this one has some weight to it. It's heavy. I don't know why peppermint is not my favorite flavor. Like it's good, but I don't know why. I, I, peppermint's not just not my favorite flavor when it comes to the holidays. No. I like prefer everything but that. Because we were gonna get the toasted white chocolate, but I'm like, that's kind of basically, basically what we yeah. got at Wawa. So we're like, because we didn't get anything mo like pepperminty, so we're like we're gonna get it here. Yeah, but this is peppermint mocha, so it should be like it's just chocolate and peppermint. I'm not really a mocha guy either. I'm just gonna give it a three out of five because like if you like peppermint and mocha, this is your alley. I want to like this. It's just I don't find my favorite. But I feel like don't. Duncan flavors are 10 times stronger than Wawa's. Wawa's was like subtle, but maybe because we did a latte. Maybe that was our mistake. But I feel like these flavors are He's so like, much stronger. Yeah. I feel like when it comes to flavors, Duncan's like the strongest. Right. Okay, so this was a four. four out of five. This is just a three. That's a three, yeah. yeah. I agree on that. So, so far, Duncan's in first place, and it's Wawa. See what Star can Starbucks redeem themselves this year? So let's go. Yeah, we went to the Starbucks in Target. Target because we didn't want to drive to the other one that was kind of far out of the way. And that one has not done good drink the last two videos we've done of this. So, we're hoping this given one. the hope for the Target one. So, presentation. They were out of whipped cream, so this one would have had whipped cream. But this is the iced sugar cookie, and then this is caramel brulee. So, hoping they taste good. Let's start the caramel. This is the most expensive, though. For oh two of them. For, two, for these small, $12. Wawa was $10, $10.50, and I think Dunkin' was like $9, $9. Yeah. All right, so it's Try. They look just like the ones from Wawa. Yeah, so caramel belay. We also said less ice. You just get hit with caramel. Is that good? That's, I like that. Is I, this actually a good Starbucks drink? I kind of like it, yeah. Really? I have good hope. This is a good Starbucks drink. Oh my God, I think it was just that Starbucks. Oh my God, this is actually good. It's so tiny. I know, they're small. So I hate how small this is. So it's a caramel brulee. So it's a, so it's espresso, steamed milk, caramel brulee, caramel brulee sauce. And it's supposed to be finished with whipped cream and, and crunchy brulee toppings. So we got the toppings, but not the whipped cream. So both of them were supposed to come with whipped cream. And yeah, but this Target said they were out. So that one was good. I'll give that, I'm giving that a four. Yeah, five. I like that a lot. So this is the ice sugar cookie, right? I don't remember. Yeah, okay, you sip first. Let me make sure. I'm just check it out. Yeah, this one has, this oh, has sprinkles on the top, but it's just floating. Okay, an ice sugar cookie almond milk latte. So it's already made of almond milk. This one wasn't. Did you get Wait, first? we had to ask for almond milk for that one. For this one, yeah. yeah. This one, I like when they do drinks already with the almond milk, so you don't, it's, so it's mm -hmm. like a little bit more pricey, but here it comes with it. I think, it, yeah, well, it's not an additional. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to pay extra. All right, you get first sip. They're also the sprinkling sinking at the bottom. The, all at the bottom. And the top. I don't think it tastes good because she did not say anything. I'm hearing the crunches. That was always it's not strong. It's not like a strong flavor, I, but it's a subtle flavor. I taste of like I taste the cookie. Yeah, it's just subtle. I think if you're not really into sweet stuff, but you still want the flavor of something sweet, that is a perfect middle ground. Yeah, like I, you could. It kind of tastes like raw sugar cookie though, for some reason. To yeah, make. like that cheap, like like the cheap, like the ones from like the grocery stores, like Acme yeah. and Shoprite, the the frosted sugar. It's not bad actually. I'm gonna give this one a three and a half as well. I'm really surprised. Wait, you give this one a three? Three and a half. And then that one's a three. Four and a half. I said four, but I'm changing it to four. And so that's four and a half, and then that one's a three. Yeah. Okay, so I think it's just, it's not that we don't like Starbucks, I think it's just depending on where we're going. Oh, hello, so we gotta stop going to an, to actual, an actual Starbucks. Let's go to the ones that are in grocery stores. So now let's put it in order of our favorite to least favorite. Wawa, well, I'm sorry, but it's in third place. I, I, I actually am gonna go with that too. I think Starbucks came in first this time, but Dunkin' was second. Really? I Because the one drink was good, I didn't like the other one. I'm gonna go with Dunkin' first just because that cookie one is extremely good. I still think it's Dunkin' oh, and Starbucks and Wawa. I like doing these. These are fun because we don't get drinks out that often. Like, no. Dunkin', the only time I get it is if it's free or there's points on their app, but that's really it. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Surprised with the result this time because it was a lot different last year than it was this year. If they do come out with new drinks in the spring, I would like to do this every season because this is actually kind of fun. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see from me next. If you want to keep up with me every day, follow my socials link down below don't forget to like and subscribe press that bell icon to be notified every time i post and i'll see you in my next video bye